When you think of engineering, you may think of construction workers. Or scientists who work in a lab all day. Or lots of complex math problems. But engineering is really more than confusing numbers and complicated physics formulas. Engineering also has many cultural influences that have determined the shapes of buildings and civilizations all over the world. Including places from England to India, to China, to pretty much anywhere you can imagine. Hello, my name is Kinsley Morgan, and for my final anthropology project, I have chosen to talk about how anthropology relates to my major. Ever since I was little, I have loved math and science, which is why I have chosen to major in engineering. Not a math or science person? That's okay. Engineering has many applications to other majors, like anthropology. According to the Oxford Dictionary, anthropology is the comparative study of human societies and cultures and their development. When studying a certain culture, anthropologists look at every aspect of how people live, including what they live in. This relates to my major because certain fields of engineering, especially architectural engineering, explore what is the best shape to make a building. So what does influence the shape of a building? Well, in today's society, the environment, or the amount of money you have, may determine how a building gets its shape. But there are also many cultural aspects to consider, too. Think about a religious building in your town. Does it have a steeple or an arc? This is not because it looks good along the skyline. It has to do with culture. For example, while studying the Pueblo ruins located in Utah, anthropologists noticed that there were many underground circular rooms utilized in Pueblo architecture. Inside these rooms, the anthropologists found pottery pieces, woven baskets, and textiles that all had the same symbol of an incomplete circle. From these findings, anthropological archaeologists were able to determine that the rooms were used for religious purposes. These rooms were made below ground because the Tusians people's religion suggested that people came from interior earth and stayed underground until the old men were given a seed from the gods that grew through the earth and allowed the Tusian people to climb up. There are also many other civilizations that use religion and culture to determine the shape of their buildings. For example, the Native Americans, also called the Mound Builders, made the majority of their buildings out of mounds of earth. The Mound Builders located in the Hopewell region utilized buildings as gathering places for festivals and religious ceremonies. Therefore, their buildings were made to hold many people. These mounds are massive geometrical shapes that could hold hundreds of people at a time. The Mounds of the Southeast Western Tennessee and Louisiana societies were smaller in comparison, as they were used for special religious rituals instead of large festivals. Not only was architecture and past civilizations greatly determined by culture, but also today in modern societies, anthropologists have found that culture still plays a key role in modern day architecture. For example, look at this picture of a New York business building. As you can see, this building has many floors and windows and utilized sleek colors like steel gray and blue. This building was designed this way because it was meant to look like a serious workplace that exuberates power. Think about our society. Big companies use skyscrapers to show that they are important and all about business. In contrast, think about a small town bakery like the one shown here. As you can see, the bakery uses brighter colors and a more home-like appearance to draw you in and make you feel welcome. When designing a building, whether a skyscraper or small town eatery, engineers must take into consideration cultural applications. In some cases, engineers will hire anthropologists to determine the cultural repercussions of building a structure. For example, if an engineer wants to build a dam to create electricity in a rural area, they must first survey the area to determine how the structure will affect the surrounding people. The new structure could cause many problems for the native people by forcing modern technology on their rural communities, which could interrupt the flow of the community's cultural practices. When engineers need to know the possible repercussions of building a particular structure, they will send anthropologists to that area to get an understanding of the people's culture, including their religious and economic system. Engineering and anthropology go hand in hand. Anthropologists study the cultural aspects of a civilization's buildings and structures, and engineers use anthropology to determine how to design buildings and structures in various societies. Thanks for watching my final project on how anthropology relates to my major.